Welcome back to the Daily Fix, and please welcome to our couch a couple crushed Luthers. What's happening, fellas? How's it going? How's it going? Good. Going well. You're wishing we, we had reclining couches. Here. No, this is a reclining. It's halfway. It does recline? Oh, I need to put my feet up. Yeah, sorry. We're working on it, man. We're still working on it. Apology better accepted. <laughs> An ottoman would do just fine. An ottoman? Yeah. We had. I agree. Hey, let me ask you a little question. Um, Iggy Pop uh, very recently played a show at Carnegie Hall. And like Iggy Pop does, he jumped into the crowd, did a little stage diving. But the people didn't catch him. And he fell right to the floor and he said, this is the last time he'll ever stage dive. The Godfather okay. Punk said it's the last time he ever stage dive. My That's question is, should he have known better because it's Carnegie Hall? Or do the people even have known it's Carnegie Hall? It's like, it's an Iggy Pop show, we need to catch him. He should have known better because he's 65 pounds. <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> he's going to break an ab. Stage diving is all about balls, and that's it. Right. I was at a fishbone show once, and this little tiny dude the size of my pinky finger stage dove onto me. It was the only person there. <laughs> Did you catch him? And I got him, nice. but he committed, and he knew I was there for him, or at yeah. least he assumed I was. Right. What else are you gonna do? So I caught him like a like a like I was hugging him. <laughs> and he was just like, "What's up?" <laughs> yeah. If he needed you at Carnegie Hall. Yes, he sure did. Yeah. Don't stop stage diving, Iggy. You're 62 years old. He's, he's not going to stop. He said he was. He's not going to. No. He's going to get into the show and he's going to stage dive. Yeah, we'll see. And, and roll around on broken glass. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. So, your recent album, Something. you released as Pay What You Want initially. That's right. In October. October. Yeah, October. Um, this is, a, you know, something that people have been toying with for a very long time. Chaos just did it with his tour recently. Um, last year he was at a pay pay what you can like for shows for his shows. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah that's and um, there were, at one time there was a train of thought, especially from the industry, of course, it was like you had to put a worth, some kind of value on your on your songs. But musicians were like, we're happy to give it away these days. Has it worked out the way you wanted, or did, does it did it matter? Well, musicians aren't happy to give it away. They just feel like they <laughs> have to because is that it though? Yeah, because you feel like you have to. Well, people are going to download it anyways. So they might as well uh, download a, like a good uh, representation, like a good sounding copy of it with the artwork and everything. If they want to pay 50 cents for it, that's so, better that we get 50 right. cents so, than that. Because for me, I'm like, especially if it's a new band, it's almost like the best way for people to hear about it and word sure. of mouth, especially now with social networking, is probably the best tool we have, right? Sure, yeah. Um, but even with that, it's still something that, you know, you don't want to be doing. Um, I, I don't think anyone really knows what's going on anymore with selling albums and stuff. It's just, it's so up in the air and, and no one knows what's going to work, so it'd try anything, right? And I think it worked out well. Yeah, yeah, we've considered not doing another record because who knows in a year if it's worth doing a physical record. Really? Yeah, I mean, who, it's such a gray area. The whole industry is just so up in the air in terms of that, so yeah, I don't know if there's any point. Uh, there might be, but maybe you know, just really singles. Perhaps. Singles are just online or whatever. On the other hand, we've never really been much of a single band, so it's a tough one, too. We're sort of an album band, so uh, it's just yeah, yet to be determined what we're going to do next. So you may just have to start writing radio hits constantly. That's right. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Good plan. So we're about to play one you of your... manage us? <laughs> yeah, I'm into it, man. <laughs> just give your music away and write things that are hit on the radio. <laughs> write hits. It, it's funny how much... Can we that, get a contract? It's funny how often that actually does happen. They'll be able to be like, Luther, write a hit. <laughs> really? <laughs> Got it. Well, not... I mean, kind of. Yeah, just like, you should write a hit. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll write a hit. <laughs> you know what else you should do? Get on the Dave Letterman show. Yeah. yeah. And open for the Rolling Stones. I thought you were going to say have sex with them and then black Yeah, either way. <laughs> <laughs> That's worked for a few people. Do heroin with Keith Richards. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Or make make Crush Luther t-shirts that actually say Metallica. You know how many you'll sell? Yes. Can we get a contract over here? I'm going to manage this band. The only issue is that it wouldn't say Crush Luther. And so the inside joke would be between us and them. <laughs> and, that's and Metallica's it. lawyers. <laughs> make a good story. You get lots of press out of would it. Would it, though? So? I think we should try it. I'm but just saying. Imagine this, Matt. Okay, so you guys made Metallica t-shirts, and they don't say Crush Luther on them at all, so isn't it just, couldn't it just be assumed that you just bought Metallica t-shirts? <laughs> it's, it's a work in progress, okay? Yeah, work on that, all and right. then text me. <laughs> okay, we're going to play a Crush Luther video right now. This is a light on the Daily Fix. You can just put Crush Luther like right here in a really small font.